Good day everyone. Today we are going to talk about the construction engineering and management. We will be presenting six pointers to understand more about the construction engineering and management. First is the history of construction engineering and management. Second is the construction engineering. Third is the construction management. Fourth is the construction engineering and management. Fifth is the job responsibilities of construction engineering and management. And last is the examples of engineering structure in the Philippines and in the other countries. The history of construction engineering and management education closely follows the emergence of the construction industry as an economic force in the United States. The initial introduction of programs in the post-World War II era was followed by the specialization and the introduction of graduate construction specialties in the early 1960s. However, the lack of qualified individuals was recognized as a factor in successfully developing the construction engineering management focus as an academic discipline. Today, that concern continues as some programs in the United States find themselves under attack by academic colleagues for issues such as lack of qualified faculty candidates and lack of funding opportunities. Hi, I'm Siren Doliente. Construction engineering is a professional discipline that deals with the designing, planning, construction and management of infrastructure such as roads, tunnels, bridges, airports, railroads, facilities, buildings, dams, utilities, and other projects. Construction engineers design and execute processes for building and maintaining the infrastructure of our world. They are required to plan construction activities, supervise the installation of structural elements, and inspect the building upon completion. Construction engineers work with architects and engineering technicians on building design and on-site problem solving. Construction engineers also compile reports which detail the cost, feasibility, and estimation of the project. Construction management is a specialized form of project management that oversees all aspects of a building project from beginning to end. Whether it is a residential, commercial, or industrial property, construction managers act as a liaison between three key stakeholders, owner, architect, and general contractor with a complete fluency in the fundamental and sometimes siloed processes of building projects. A construction manager must oversee all components and ensure cost and time budgets are met. It is a professional service that provides a project's owners with effective management of the project's schedule, cost, quality, safety, scope, and function. Construction management compatible with all project delivery methods. No matter the setting, a construction manager's responsibility is to the owner and to a successful project. Good day everyone! My name is Ian D. Dornella. Now, I will discuss about the definition of construction, engineering, and management. So, construction, engineering, and management involves the application of technical and scientific knowledge to infrastructure construction projects. While engineering focuses on design and construction management is concerned with overseeing the actual construction, CEM or construction engineering and management often represents blend of both disciplines which are bridging design and management or project execution. Construction engineering managers may have an educational background at both undergraduate and graduate levels as well as experience in construction management techniques. In addition, construction engineering managers are often called upon to use computers and construction management softwares to produce and analyze designs for their projects. They are responsible for assembling teams of qualified engineers who can ensure completion of a given project. Construction engineering managers also need to possess the right knowledge for controlling estimation and planning of associated costs for a project. Hi, I'm Ken Robert S. Ducot, 
So let proceed to the job responsibility. Constructions engineering manager must have a possessed true understanding of laws, regulations, and building codes, especially those that have direct impact on the project at hand. They must also be able to estimate the total cost of a given project with a considerations to site infections, drainage, sewage, and elevation level test, equipment and materials, and labor. Planning and overseeing the construction's operations of a project, conducting site layout, scheduling, selecting equipment, organizing the work crew, managing materials, safeguarding the environment, and building temporary structure, designing both temporary and permanent structures, checking and modifying plan and expectations for constructability, efficiency, and safety, developing cost estimate and preparing bides, utilizing building information modeling or BIM software for 3D models, managing subcontractor films, working with the owner to ensure that the project meets requirements, solving job site problems, moving between the field and office, gaining additional educations and training. So let's go on to the example of engineering structures in the Philippines. First is the Philippine Arena. Philippine Arena is the one of the world's largest indoor arenas capable of seating 50,000 fans in a fully enclosed building. Since opening, the arena has hosted a range of sporting, music, and church events. Built on 99,200 square meter of land, the arena has a dome over 9,000 square meters. The oval roof has a dimensions of 227 meter by 179 meter and contains 9,000 tons of steelwork. The roof has made as a separate unit to reduce the burden on the arena with the extra load. The arena is 65 meters in high or about 15 stories high and founded on a pile constructions. About a third of, of the dead load of the building has designed for earthquake load. The building has also divided into the multiple structure to strengthen the arena's earthquake resistance. Hi, I'm Gerald Ginano, and this is our topic, Construction Engineering and Management. Tanghalang Pabansa, Cultural Center of the Philippines. Tanghalang Pabansa is the flagship venue and principal offices of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Designed by national artist for architecture Leandro Loxin, Tanghalang Pabansa has an area of 620,000 square meters and facade is dominated by a two-story travertine block suspended 12 meters high by deep concave cantilevers on three sides. It houses three performing arts venues, one theater for film screening, galleries, a museum, and the center's library and archives. National Museum of Fine Arts The National Museum of Fine Arts, formerly known as the Old Legislative Building, National Assembly Building, and the Congress Building houses the collection of paintings and sculptures by classical Filipino artists. The building was originally designed by architect Ralph Harrington Doan and Antonio Toledo in 1918 under the supervision of engineer Pedro Siochi. A four-story building with every floor offering a different aspect of generation of arts in the Philippines. Hi, my name is Justin Duhilio. So the fourth example of engineering structures in the Philippines is the Araneta Coliseum. The smart Araneta Coliseum, known as the Big Dome, is an indoor multi-purpose sports arena in Cubao, Quezon City. Today, it remains as one of the largest clear span domes in the world with a dome diameter of 108 meters. It occupies a total land area of almost 40,000 square meters and has a floor area of 23,000 square meters. It is designed and built by architect Dominador Laxon Lugto and engineer Leonardo Unjunco Lugto. 
So the fifth example is no other than the Sorsogon State College Library, a modern-looking library likened by young Filipinos for its world-class look. SEC was established at Sorsogon Trade School in 1907. Its name was changed to Sorsogon School of Arts and Trades in 1953. Then, Sorsogon College of Arts and Trades in 1976. It wasn't until 1993 when the school was converted into a state college with its main campus located at Magsaysay Street in Sorsogon City. It was completed in 2019. The library was designed by architectural and interior design instructor Jan Salcedo Esliter, an alumna of State College. Hi, my name is Pian Destajo. Going outside the country, one example of an engineering structure is the Adir Aliyev Cultural Center that was designed by an Iraqi British architect, Zaha Hadid. This cultural center in Baku, Azerbaijan is a 57,500 square meter building complex with a length of 10,092 meters and a height of 74 meters. It seems to be all form and no structure. Smooth, distorted grade of glass fiber reinforced polyester panels has no visible connections. Looks less as though it was actually built and more as though it landed. Adir Aliyev Cultural Center was designed to become the primary building for the Azerbaijan's cultural programs. Good day everyone! My name is Jan Luis Dorian and this is our last example of engineering structure. The Petronas Towers. The Petronas Towers are twin skyscrapers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The buildings which held the title of tallest in the world between 1998 2004 are an iconic landmark of the capital city. The distinctive postmodern style was created by architects Cesar Pelli and Ahmad Moria, engineer DJ Serigo and designer Dominic Saibo, under the consultancy of JC Quinto. Standing at 452 meters, the 88-story buildings with both towers joined at the 41st and 42nd floors. 175 meters above street level by a 58 long double-decker sky bridge are now the world's tallest wind structures. 